Hello comrades, coming as bro here today with Superpower 2, another mod spotlight, this time the World War II mod. That's right. This mod's a really interesting one. Obviously, as stated previously, it updates the World War II aspects of the game. Yeah, 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 but that's pretty cool. Like, look at it, look at, look at, look at, look at Germany here. With uh, the largest air force, the largest army. Yeah, they've also updated the uh, the French, the UK, the Soviet Union, and so on. But uh, I don't know if these army sizes are actually accurate, because for some reason that doesn't quite seem right to me. That the French military is only made up of forty four thousand infantry. 6,868 land. That just doesn't seem right. Especially for World War II. It seemed like it was bigger than that. But, uh, what do I know? Anyway, you've also got some other new factions. You've got Republican Spain. You've got Nationalist Spain currently locked in their civil war. So you can roughly assume that this mod takes place in, what, 1936? Even though the time most certainly does not reflect that. Yeah. And also, a lot of people are really in debt. The Soviet Union's not. Another one of those <laughs> kind of up and up the economy of the Soviet Union very, very powerfully. Like, yeah, that's... I don't know. I don't know. It's not that I'm bagging on the, uh, the USSR or anything in terms of, um, like, dislike or anything. But it does seem a tad rich. And, like, see, the United States is still in crippling debt. It's like, yeah, it's just, this This would be really easy playing as the Soviet Union. They just build up a military really fast. Because uh, Germany obviously can't, you know, handle its own weight. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. And, um, alright, so the actual in-game tanks haven't really been reflected. I mean, yeah, there's a T-34, but that comes stock with the game. And then there's T90s still, though. Hmm, interesting, interesting. It would be interesting if uh, the develop or the, the the modder in this case was actually able to take out all the unit designs for those major factions, uh, and instead just kind of, you know, leave the uh, early early stuff. And like, if if you if you left everybody at like really low research levels. Um, that would be really cool, too, because, I mean, if it's supposed to be 1936, and, you know, you got bumps. Now, again, I understand completely if this is more of just a cosmetic mod, uh, more so than it is an actual, you know, full-fledged World War II mod, but, uh, yeah, that would, that would be, that would be very interesting, to say the least. Alright, so, who else has strong militaries in this mod? Because, apparently, the Europeans, like, aside from Germany, are all really terrible. Okay, the Turks have the seventh largest army. Interesting. Iran has a large army, or excuse me, Persia. What else we got? We got China. Really? Nationalist China? Only 80,000 soldiers. Yeah, that, that does not seem right from, like, at all. And then Japan has the second largest land army. I guess. I, I mean, I, eh, eh, I don't know if I could really get along with that, but whatever. Yet the, the fucking communist Chinese have an army of almost a million. With the third largest land... Okay, yeah. So there's, there's a couple of mistakes here or there. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing too big, I suppose. But, like, for balancing purposes, if... Ch the communist China is that powerful? They could literally just come out, take over nationalist China, like beat the living shit out of them, and uh, proceed to take over this whole region. Because, like, look, Xinjiang, no forces at all. None. Nada. Zilch. And even then, the communist Chinese army is actually strong enough that it could beat the Soviet Union. That's, that's, a, that's a little bit of the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Nonsense, maybe? Yeah, that's, that's a bit of nonsense. Yeah, yeah. So, and look, Great Britain. And yeah, the, the fight in Japan. Interesting. Well, needless to say, the cosmetics alone make it worthy of a try. Um, I think there's a tad bit of really strange balancing choices going on here. I'm 
Not 100% sure why. <laughs> like the Chinese communist thing, that might have just been uh, the guy forgetting to uh, tone them down because that's pretty much their numbers in Vanilla Superpower too. So, yeah, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have, uh, check out this mod. I'll put a link to it. It is on the like the main Superpower 2 mod database um, on that superpower2.co.uk uh, website. So, yeah, I'll provide a link for it so you guys can download it. It is one where you have to modify the shortcuts uh, to the file that your Superpower 2 is installed into, putting the target into... Uh, that file and also slash joshua.exe dash uh, mod world war two or something like that so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at it when you look when you modify the shortcut that's actually in the mod folder but anyway again this has been Kami Saburo and I'll see all you magnificent people next time <laughs>